Hello everyone, I'm Cole Jogger and today we have another episode. Our video is talk about how to download and install WinGW in our machine. So I have already saved the website where I got the WinGW inst installer and uh, but don't worry I will post in the description box below so that you will be able to find the link of this website okay so I have here in my in my Google Chrome browser I have saved it so I will click this one MinGW so it's here MinGW means, means minimalist GNU for Windows GNU is a source of open source programming tools so GNU stands for GNU is not a Linux it's not Lin Unix I mean so this is it so how to download this is how to download so just click min gw here and just follow this one so if you cannot uh, if you cannot uh, follow me so you have an option to follow these steps okay so but anyway in this video uh, i make sure that you can follow Okay, so we'll just click this one, and here in we are redirected in the other website. So the web, the name of the website is sourceforge.net. So projects means slash projects slash mean gw slash files, and this is the content of the web page. So let us click the latest version. So let us click the latest version. I have clicked already, and now your download will start shortly. So maybe it will be downloaded. Actually, I do, I installed MinGW in my machine already. So let us open since uh, already completed. Download is already completed. So let us open. Show in folder. So as you can see, uh, there is uh, one. So it means I already downloaded one once, and this is the second one. So let us install this one. Uh, I will show you, but I will not install it. So okay, okay, just install, and uh, this is just remain like that mean gw in the directory so do not change do not change the the installation directory and the, 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 let's continue so just click continue and continue 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 okay so i did quit because i already installed but I, since here, so I already have, I will show it to you, so this one, this file. So after you installed the MinG installer, MinGW installer, you have to click this uh, icon. Okay, just click it and this will appear in your screen. So click on the basic setup. And uh, I also I also installed. So just just click this one. Just click it, and uh, since it is uh, already installed, uh, we, when you first load this screen, so the basic setup is not this is not colored yet. This is not installed yet. So you have to right click and one by one mark for in installation so once you get it and like for this one I will, I will I will remove this one first okay and the same as like this but this is uninstall so we will try again we will try so installation update catalog so review change so apply so it will remove
So all changes were applied successfully. You may now close this dialog. So close dialog automatically when active. So we will close. Okay, so we'll close it. So so as you can see now our MG developer tools are and color. So no color. So if you first time to install MinGW and you click basic setup, all these items here, list and package are and color. So you have to one by one right click and mark for installations like that. So mark for installation and the icons will be look like that the arrow down the arrow side facing side so and again after you click all you have to update catalog so update catalog and change and then click apply and the installation and wait for the installation will be complete so you can close check the close dialog automatically when activity is complete it's not important but and here so just close it okay so all are uh, installed so since already installed you have to again it's not over yet but uh, the, the last one is just it's super easy you need to put the uh, uh, you need to put the path in the environmental path so path of what of G, uh, GCC so you have to right click uh, go to your go to your uh, go to your PC settings and uh, PC and then properties Okay, and then in your advanced settings, okay, or you have to click here in the icons. If not, you have to click these icons, your this PC, and click properties. It's the same thing, and click advanced system settings. From advanced system settings, in the advanced under advanced tab. Here, the last part is environmental, uh, environment, I mean, environment variables. So, just click environment variables. And here, downside system variables, you need to add your uh, GCC path. So, GCC path. This one. Okay. So, just click this one. So here, you can add here. So since I already installed, that's why uh, MinGW Min is, uh, bin is here. Okay? So to make it sure that uh, this is, this is the, really the path, so uh, uh, let's, let us check in our folder. So let us check. It's in C. Drive C and here you can see MinGW and the bin. So bin. Just copy this one and put it here. So make a new one and put it here, paste it here. So since I have, I want to delete this. Okay. And okay and okay. Cancel and so, so just to check, but we I, I forgot also, I forgot one thing. So let us check our uh, our GCC if it is installed, if our GCC are installed properly. So let us see here. Let us type GCC uh, space minus minus or minus minus version and hit enter so that is our so it means that 
our GCC was uh, was installed properly, and the version of our GCC is three point uh, six point three. So that's it. So thank you for watching, guys, and I hope that uh, you learn and uh, I hope that you will be, you able to uh, follow my instructions here. Thank you so much, and please leave comment below and uh, please subscribe also if you are new. Thank you for watching, and this time, bye bye.